Welcome back to the Faculty Factory Podcast. I'm Kim Skorupski. Good morning, Rachel. Why don't you tell everybody who you are at Hopkins and what the breaking commercial news is? Thanks, Kim, and thanks for having me back on the podcast. I'm super excited to be here. So I am the Associate Dean for Faculty Educational Development in the School of Medicine, and of course, that's how we know each other and work closely together. And my primary role is to really build master educators to enhance education more broadly. And I'm excited to tell you about a new program that we have developed. This is a longitudinal online virtual course that will be delivered by Zoom. And this course is modeled after the longitudinal program that we have had ongoing at Hopkins for over 30 years and that has trained literally hundreds of educators and leaders in education. So I'm really excited that we've been able to take this model that has been so successful for decades and pivot it into the virtual space. What we're hoping is that this will be then available to more faculty from across the country and that we'll maintain this really special component about this course and that it's longitudinal. So we'll be meeting together every two weeks for two and a half hours for 10 sessions. And that we'll meet in small learning communities of no more than five to six participants. That way we can really focus on building skills by working through our own kind of teaching and learning challenges in the context of the content for each session. Wow. So again, those of you heard this right, 30 years here at Hopkins, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of faculty participants now open to everyone across the country. Rachel, you said every two weeks for two and a half hours, 10 times. Is that right? That's right. So 25 hours total of coursework together in these small learning communities where we can really kind of focus on using skills of facilitation and dialogue and shared reflection to really kind of dive deep into some core teaching and learning concepts. So tell tell you know, everybody the, what the, the objectives are and what will they leave the program being able to do? Yeah, so this program will bring together educators from all different setting. So you can, you know, you could be an anesthesiologist, you could be a basic science educator, you could do predominantly outpatient medicine or inpatient medicine. So we really expect a diverse group of participants. And it's an opportunity for participants to really reflect on teaching, practice skills, and learn instructional methods and strategies in this very supportive and collaborative learning environment. And so we will be focusing on these very interactive small group sessions where we'll use reflective practice, both individually and shared. We'll have opportunities for simulation and role play. And the specific content that we cover over these 10 sessions are building a supportive learning community, um, focusing on becoming resilient educators and fostering inclusive learning environments. We'll talk here about mindset of both learners and educators. We focus, of course, on feedback because that's something that universally every educator I come across wants to get better at. We will talk about small group settings for teaching and learning. And then we'll have some sessions that are really specifically focused on specific strategies for teachers that we call the teacher's toolbox. So that'll be about how do you design sessions for teaching and learning. We'll talk about the professional, something we call the professionalism of teaching and being an effective role model. We'll talk about clinical teaching, precepting in the clinical setting. We'll talk about how to use questions effectively, how to teach in multi-level learners. So those are the main content areas. And then, as I said, the methods that we use are experiential learning. So we'll present a kind of model or a framework, but individual participants bring their own experiences of teaching to discuss and reflect on with their peer group for problem solving and learning around that particular content area. Amazing. And let's make sure people are understanding this is for faculty only, correct? 
Yes. So we're focusing here on faculty. And I do thank you for raising that question because I really do want to emphasize that this program is applicable to teaching and learning in all settings. So it's grounded in learning principles and it's focused on evidence-based instructional strategies and methods that are really applicable to teaching in any setting. And we've found that in our course of the last 30 years, that's true, that we've had faculty who teach in a variety of different contexts and settings, and they can apply whatever we're doing to their own settings. And the other thing that I really want to emphasize about that is the diversity of teachers in the group really creates an incredible richness. I really learn every time I have a colleague as a participant who's coming from a different context or teaching setting, I learn so much from hearing about their experiences and the way that they might approach, how do I create a learning environment that's supportive and effective in the operating room, where that's not my experience at all, where I may be teaching in a clinical setting that's not an operating room or in a small group teaching session. And I just learned so much from those colleagues who are working in different settings. So I think that's another strength of this program that I would also want to emphasize, that you really, in this small group, you'll have a facilitator, but it's really the participants in the group who serve as resources for one another around their own kind of learning edges, figuring out where they want to grow and develop further skills. And that, you know, that's really core to this course as well, developing those skills to kind of work within a learning community, because you can bring that to your teaching when you step outside this course. I know seating is limited for this. So can you tell us when does the program start? How much does it cost? Is there CME credits? And how do people contact you for further information? So the course is going to run from February to June. And one wonderful, I think, benefit of having such small groups is once we have a group of five to six participants, we'll actually determine the days and times on the availability of everyone in the group. So we have flexibility amongst our facilitators to be able to do that because we really want to maximize participation from our participants. So that's one February to June, 10 sessions about every two weeks, two and a half hours. This is a CME course. And so participants can receive 25 CME credits for 25 hours. The cost is $2,500, which is about $100 per CME credit. And we think that's actually pretty competitive. And we know that many faculty are not traveling in this past year and may have some extra CME funds from their institutions. So we hope that this will be an opportunity to have a wonderful, really enriching learning faculty development experience and also get CME credit for it and a good amount of CME credit. And then if anyone is interested in learning more about it, you can email me at rlevine at jhmi.edu. You can check us out on Twitter at jh underscore tsp, Teaching Skills Program. And on Twitter, you'll see also our advertisement for the program. That's at jh underscore t as in teaching, S as in skills, P as in program, J-H underscore T-S-P, and it's R Levine, R-L-E-V-I-N-E, at J-H-M-I dot E-D-U, right? That's right. I know everyone's going to be excited about this. I hope you have the capacity to handle all the crowds, but this is wonderful program. I love how you've tailored it and will tailor the time for the participants. Super innovative, Folks, you're going to love it. Thanks, Dr. Levine. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Kim. And I love your show. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Thank you, Rachel. Thanks for tuning in to Faculty Factory Podcast. The mission of the Faculty Factory is to build and support a community of leaders in faculty development who share tools, resources, wisdom, and encouragement in service to our faculty members, schools, and institutions. We encourage you to go to facultyfactory.org to find out more, get in touch with me, ask me any questions. Maybe you want to be interviewed on the podcast. Thanks for tuning in to Faculty Factory Podcast. We'll see you next time.
The Faculty Factory podcast and website is sponsored by the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine Office of Faculty. For more information, visit facultyfactory.org.